Okay, we are going to talk today about uh, the art therapy program at Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark sits on 137 acres of forest just south of Portland, about 10 miles from downtown. Um, this program was formerly at Merrillhurst University and has really um, embedded itself in the support of Lewis and Clark over the last couple of years. And we are the only program on the West Coast that has a license to practice, and it offers both pra uh, title and um, practice prote protection. And um, our program trains you not only for that, but also the ability to get an LPC. The mission of our program is to prepare competent, creative, and reflective art therapists. We're committed to equity-based, clinical and community praxis. Students learn to apply relationally and socially attuned art therapy using art making to deepen awareness with self and others within societal and cultural contexts. The importance here is that we are really committed to equity-based clinical and community praxis. The students are really aware with their own social location in relationship to the clients that they work with. And um, they use their art making to understand themselves and to understand the visual language in helping other people engage in art for um, healing, social change, um, raising critical consciousness. <clears throat> Our program has rigorous training um, to become qualified mental health practitioners and ethical leaders. We advocate for social justice and we provide service and clinically focused care to individuals, groups, and families. Our program is uh, accredited by the KHEP accreditation, and um, it is we assess our students in the cognitive knowledge, psychomotor skills, and effective behavior learning domains. So our overarching program goals is to continuously look at oneself in our own reflective practice and personal art making to really understand and recognize the impact of oppression and prejudice and discrimination and privilege on access to mental health care and develop responsive practices in supporting and advocating for uh, people's needs to be met and distinguishing among all the various therapeutic benefits of art processes and media strategies and interventions so students are clinically trained to have a solid foundation in understanding assessment treatment um, interventions and working um, within the medical model and bridging into the community-based mental health spaces to um, use art to help people so like I said, all of our coursework is rooted in the principles of social justice, equity, and access. The classes are very small, so you really develop a tight-knit cohort um, and connections with the faculty who get to know you on a really close level. We do have paid research assistance opportunities, and the faculty and supervisors are practicing art therapists, counselors, psychologists, and researchers who've been in this field for many years and are embedded in this community and have been uh, part of the growth and evolution of students in uh, Oregon. And um, because of the program being in this part of the world for over 30 years, we have a wide range of settings. In addition to that, we also have a graduate school at Lewis and Clark that has a number of settings um, through their professional mental health counseling, their marriage and family counseling, their addictions program, the eating disorders program, the eco psychology program. And our, our, our therapy program is able to bridge um, into uh, the various placements that are all over to give students a, a very robust experience. <clears throat> So the program is eight semesters minimum, and you can get your Master of Arts, which is a practitioner emphasis, or Master of Science, which is a, both a practitioner and a researcher. Um, all students are accepted into the Master of Arts, and you have to put in an extra application if you have an interest in pursuing the research track, um, and you have to defend a thesis and um, work with the IRB to do a research project. Um, we only start in the fall. In your first year, you're doing pre-practicum or volunteering out in the community two hours a week. In the second year, 
You are leading groups in a practicum placement four to six hours per week and meeting weekly with your supervisor for supervision. And you're also meeting with a small group peer supervision on campus. We limit that group to six students so that students can really get ex excellent support. Um, in the year three, you are at your internship 24 hours per week and you are getting an hour of supervision on site functioning as part of the treatment team, and then you're also getting um, a three-hour supervision class on campus uh, where you're able to get the support from the art therapy faculty. We have a very robust selection of electives that range throughout the graduate school um, in covering a wide range of different um, uh, topics. And um, you can get your certificate in eating disorders or eco-psychology in addition to the art therapy degree if that's something that interests you. Um, the graduate school is a part of, um, ho hosts many programs. So there's the undergraduate campus, the law campus, and the graduate campus. Within the graduate pro programs, we have a counseling and therapy programs of art therapy, marriage couple, and family therapy, professional mental health counseling, professional mental counseling with addictions. And we have a, a number of K-12 education programs, um, student affairs and higher education programs, um, and license endorsement certificate programs, and the certificates, like I said. Um, so because of this robust number of, of programs, we also are able to take classes in electives for cross over um, into other disciplines to really learn from um, these other professions. So this is an example of what a, um, a year by year glance. Um, the first year you're really getting a foundation of diversity and social equity, cross-cultural counseling, really understanding and unpacking who you are as a person and how you have been socialized to um, understand the lens from which you see things. We use a social constructivist um, perspective in really helping you unpack that and reflect on it in your artwork. The theories of counseling class looks over the epistemological um, growth and development of theories over time and uh, situates how knowledge is formed um, and looks at uh, whose voices are amplified. We try to um, deconstruct the um, understanding of learning in the classroom and provide spaces where students can learn from one another and uh, try to um, change the indoctrinate indoctrination of the teacher knowing everything and moving it into more of a collaborative um, space where students and faculty and um, we all come together and share and learn with and grow with one another. Um, into, we also have the Introduction to Art Therapy course and um, that first year where you're learning about all the different theories and uh, ap ap applications to art therapy. In your spring term, you're learning about child and adolescent development. You're taking your psychopathology class, learning about different disorders and things, helping relationship where you're learning about how to connect with the client through the art. And then in the summer, you have ethics and research methods. As you move into the second year, you're having supervision while that's a practicum, while you're learning how to lead groups and you're learning how to assess with clinical uh, understanding of graphic development. You're also learning about adult and family therapy, um, moving on to how you diagnose and appraise as uh, you need to understand this for the LPC and for the uh, art therapy license. You have to submit a portfolio in the second semester, which is showing competency that you have a genuine understanding of clinical cases and how to apply them and present them. Um, and that will, if you pass that class, then you can move into the final year of the program, um, which is the internship. You're also learning about how to have clinical skills in your counseling. Um, in the summer, we circle back to some of the things that were brought up in the very first semester in social equity and cross-cultural and having, have, 
having after learned all the other courses, we um, revisit some of those things that you had learned and think about their application in your internship and in your work as a clinician, thinking about how you can bring more equity based community interventions in your work. We also offer an additional research uh, course that summer. The final year of the program is when you're doing your 24 hours a week at your site and you're on campus one day a week where you're getting a chance to make a body of artwork to reflect on your understanding of your identity as an art therapist and really building a final pro project to present to the public in the art therapy capstone, which is in the spring. And I encourage those of you that are interested in this program to attend the capstone presentations and hear some of our graduating students share some of the work that they've been doing in the program. So prerequisites are 18 semester hours, semester credits in art. We really need you to, to show proficiency in drawing, painting, and sculpture. This includes figure drawing and a ceramics class. I know with the, some of you, you may not have had the formal ceramics class. Um, we really need to see in your portfolio that you understand how to fire, how to glaze, um, how to technically um, work with clay, and as well with drawing and painting, just showing us the technical ability. Um, we also are looking for uh, commitment to social justice and some work that really represents your understanding of um, raising critical consciousness about a topic that's of interest to you that uh, amplifies marginalized voices. Um, we also are looking for reflection on self and understanding how maybe why you're drawn to art therapy and that you understand your own visual language and who you are as an artist. Um, the general psychology, abnormal psychology and human development are requirements for our accreditation. And we want you to be sure that you're ready to work with people and to show us that you have the aptitude to help people. So in doing so, you need to have at least 200 hours of human service experience. This could be an internship, volunteer, or paid in a helping profession, working with people. It doesn't have to be art-based, but we just want you to be sure that you are comfortable working with people because this is a big investment in your in your career and in your um, financial um, undertaking. So we just wanna be sure that this is what you want to do. So one of the benefits of practicing here is that we have um, a law that protects the practice of art therapy, both title and practice. So that is, um, you can't call yourself an art therapist or that you're doing art therapy unless you have this um, license. So we have both the registered art therapist, which is a licensed art therapist, or the registered um, board certified art therapist, which is the licensed certified art therapist. Um, we also offer a path to the LPC. And um, for those students that want to pursue the LPC, there's an additional two electives and the lifestyle and career class that you would need to take um, for a total of 60 credits in order to sit for the LPC exam. Some of the benefits of being in Portland is there are mountains to the east, Pacific Ocean to the west. We're about 90 minutes to both, situated kind of halfway between the two. There are hundreds of waterfalls nearby. Forest Park is 5,000 acres of hiking and biking trails, public gardens, and old growth woods within the city proper. Um, there's all kinds of fun stuff to do in Portland, and we have the leading transportation system of streetcars, light rail, buses, and it's super bike friendly. Um, the majority of our students are employed within the field within a year of graduating. Uh, often students are offered positions prior to graduating from their internship placements. And um, pretty much, I think within the last two years, uh, we had all students um, had found employment that had been looking within six months of graduating. So we do have weekly open studio process session sessions. Those are currently um, every Thursday from three to 6 p.m. And they are co-facilitated by one of our art therapy students and um, uh, art therapy faculty as a supervisor. Uh, we have these weekly and they're free and open to the public. Um, and they're really powerful. And it's a, 
a great way for you to connect with students that are in the program and ask them questions and get an experience of deepening your own personal understanding of your own art, art making. We also have, <clears throat> over the summer, we formulated the Art for Social Change, and our mission is to create and display art that amplifies and centers BIPOC minds and bodies, acknowledging racism with the objective of social change. So we believe that art and relationship transforms lives, builds community, examines social constructs, raises critical consciousness, and creates a more just society. So this group meets weekly, and we engage in all kinds of things across campus and with the greater uh, Portland area to um, find ways to uh, reduce harm, create re relationship repair, and continuous learning and listening, and looking at our lived experiences through stories and art. If you're ready to apply, our online application deadline is January 3rd. We do need to have your official transcripts, uh, your resume, your essay should be self-reflective and highlight your commitment to social justice. We request that you put in at least nine images. Um, if you have work that's outside of those drawing, painting, and sculpture, you can include them just to give us a, a glimpse of who you are as a person and what, what you're passionate about. Um, and if you have the ability to ask a supervisor who can speak to your ability to work with people in a helping profession, we encourage you to do that for your um, your recommendation letters, maybe one from a faculty member that you've worked with closely and one from a supervisor from your human service work. So here are the ways to contact us and I uh, hope this was helpful for you in making your decision about whether you would like to apply to Lewis and Clark.